What is up, sports bettors? It is Matt Modi here with Odds Jam coming to you on this Friday morning here to give you my favorite MLB parlay for today. So I do have some early best bets and stuff like that out. So definitely make sure to check out that video. So for this one specifically, we're just going to be going through the Odds Jam positive EV page, locking in a mathematically profitable parlay. So of course, everything starts using Odds Jam using the positive expected value page, finding betting opportunities in which we hold the edge over the sports book, which is exactly what I have here. So I have a two leg parlay, both bets obviously placed on FanDuel. Thanks to the new filters that have come out a couple, uh, maybe a month ago at this point, you can filter specifically by sports book and specifically by date range. So I was looking at FanDuel bets for today and here we go. We have, there's three bets here total, but because two of them are in the same game, I wasn't able to parlay them together. So I just went with two of them and I have them up here as a two leg parlay in uh, the over in the Rangers versus Tigers uh, first inning. So yes, run first inning. And then the Angels, Blue Jays, I'm taking the Blue Jays team total under four and a half. So this is just going to be a half unit play for me, or I guess a $38 play for me, because that's all they'll let me put on it for this parlay. So the bet has been locked in. So let's chat about it. Number one, the reason why I, between these two plays, why I chose uh, the Blue Jays team total as opposed to the game under, there are two reasons for it. Number one, by a little bit, it had tighter market width at 16 cents. Market width, this column here, if you have any questions, you can click this little question mark and it'll tell you. Basically, it will tell you, um, or market width, excuse me, kind of shows you confidence in what lines are being priced at. The lower the numbers, the better. This case being at 16, very tight market. Again, not obviously much bigger than the 17 number that we have here, but I did uh, like this one because of that. The other reason why I liked it is because uh, it has a more favorable chance of occurring. So taking this bet straight up, is something that I would definitely do. But in a parlay, I try to combine plays that have more likelihood chance of hitting. So for this bet, only having a 42% chance of hitting versus this one, which is closer to 50, you know, 49%. I figured for a parlay, it made more sense to combine plays that had a higher likelihood chance of hitting. So that's why I went with the Blue Jays team total under. But just to talk about the math behind it for a little bit, generally parlays aren't profitable ventures. Sportsbooks in general want Sports bettors, two place parlays. It's hard enough to hit one bet. It's even harder when you're combining multiple bets and all of them have to hit. So generally, uh, the sports folks make the most money and the most return on investment or return on value, whatever you want to call it, on people placing parlays. So I generally only try to lock in parlays. There's a couple examples. Number one is if there's some sort of promotion. So if there's a risk-free parlay, risk-free same game parlay, I'll do that all the time. I'll do the minimum amount of legs required and I'll do the maximum amount of money that they'll refund. That's a good example. Another one, and I like to do this mostly for the NFL, is find two to four uh, teams that I think have a high, high likelihood chance of winning and just parlay their money lines together. So I can turn what might be multiple minus 300 um, money lines for favorites to win, turn that into a plus money parlay. Again, I won't do more than probably four teams because at that point you're just begging for an upset to happen and it's going to happen all the time. And then the third example, which is exactly what I'm doing here, is just stacking positive expected value plays together. Like I said, generally par parlays aren't positive EV, but if you can stack multiple plays together that are positive expected value, you kind of just increase the value of the play. Of course, for me, I find that the most likely thing or the, the, the sharpest thing to do is to find plays that have a higher likelihood chance of occurring, which is exactly what I did here. So uh, both bets having just under 50% chance of occurring, this one at 49.92, this one at 49.14, obviously still is giving this the most likely scenarios that this parlay doesn't hit, but stacking two plays with the near 50% win percentage gives me a better chance than the you know, putting in a play with 42%. It's kind of how it works. But to talk about the math a little bit of these two plays. So this yes run first inning is actually a bet that I've locked in individually. Uh, it's plus 104 is what the odds were on FanDuel. The uh, no vig odds price this at, at about even money plus 100. <clears throat> a little bit, I mean, a little bit above plus 100, but uh, we can just pretty much round down. Only 17 cents in market width. So tight market here. And then I like this one because when you compare it to every other book, BetMGM is a little close at plus 100, but typical minus 110. 
the odds jam line, which is the sharpest line in the world, at minus 112. All in all, this equates to a profit margin of about 1.8%. And this profit margin, it takes into account other sports books, not just the odds jam line. So the odds jam line, still the sharpest book in the world in terms of you know the odds that they price stuff at. But now for these EV percentages, we're taking a weighted average of the odds jam line and a bunch of other sharp books as well. So we're comparing the holistic betting market, taking multiple sharp books and then providing positive EV betting opportunities to those books. So this one all in all equates to 1.83. And then this one, the Blue Jays team total under equates to about 0.25, only 16 cents in market width. No big odds have this about plus 103, plus 103 and a half, something like that. So not a huge gap between the no big odds and what we bet it at at plus 104. But it's still positive expected value, and I do think that these bets are worth taking, which is exactly why I have been taking them, and then for this one, I parlayed them together. So for those of you at home tailing this parlay, two plus 104 plays, one, the yes over, or the yes run first inning in the Tigers versus Rangers, yes run first inning over 0.5 runs in the first inning. The next one, Blue Jays team total under four and a half, and that's going to be it. That is going to be my MLB parlay for today. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're tailing. Other than that, please remember to like the video, comment, subscribe to the IGM YouTube channel. All that stuff is super helpful, and that's all I got for you guys. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.